Hey guys, so I am going to be showing you guys my setup, all my gaming essentials, and a lot of cool stuff that I have in my room. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, stay tuned. Is the Autoful Bunny Chair. Absolutely love it, super comfortable. Also comes with these bunny ears. You can take them off if you want to. Cushioning is great, but that's the current chair I have right now. I also have this um, donut and this is the logo that you'll see on the chair I have no complaints about the chair I absolutely love it it's great it has it's like little pillow right there too Super cool just to kind of go with the furniture black and white and I like the pink this table I actually got from Ikea it has two drawers um, so I have a lot of stuff in here. Uh, you gotta have the VIX. If you don't have the VIX, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, just some stuff that I have. Um, keep sticky notes and, you know, just some controllers and stuff in there. Um, in this drawer over here, I like to have like sticky notes and supplies and like office supplies in case I'm working on stream stuff or like my day job stuff. It's kind of what I have in there, but for the most part, that's what the desk looks like. It's not super big because I don't have a lot of room in my, um, like I don't have a lot of room in here. I don't have a lot of space. Uh, but this, again, this is just what I have. So first things first, we're starting off with my monitors. They're both by Aces. This one is 21.5 inches and this one is 27 inches. I absolutely love both. They're amazing if you're just looking for some monitors to start off. Um, what I love most about this 27 inch monitor is the stand it came with. But you kind of just drag it down. You could bring it back up. You could also tilt it and just do a lot with it. You could also rotate it vertical if you want. However, with the 21.5 inch monitor, I did not like the stand that came with this one. The stand was like really weird. I didn't like the shape. Um, so I ended up buying a completely different stand for this one. So the stand that I ended up getting for it was a stand by a company called Hanu. I hope I'm saying their name right, but you can find them on Amazon. The only thing I will say about the stand that I ended up buying for this monitor is in order for you to adjust it, you actually have to screw away and then kind of position it the way that you want to position it then you screw it tight and it'll stay in place when this one i don't have to do that i could kind of just move things around the way that i want to without unscrewing anything i don't know why asus didn't include this monitor stand with the exact same monitor uh just different size so i told you guys originally i didn't like it had to get a new one so the stand that I got, not bad. Just keep in mind, you're gonna have to like screw and unscrew for that one. This one, amazing. But for the most part, both monitors are incredible. Great color, the, um, they're 1080p resolution. So if you're looking for something 4K, this can't do that. But if you're just starting off and you just need some monitors, these will do the, the job. The lighting of my setup isn't all that crazy. Um, I just used this cheap light from Walmart. I've been using it for about two and a half years now, and it has like its own arm stand that it came with. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description below. But if you're going to ask me about what lighting I use, it's nothing special. And I just put it um, in front of this uh, curtain that I have here. And it's a little ghetto, but it does the trick and I like it because I don't really like a light like shining in my face while I'm streaming. As you can see, I already have so many other lights on my setup. Um, so for some reason it does the trick and then I use like my room light now and it's just awesome. Now I always get questions about this particular piece right here, which is my keyboard. Um, this keyboard is by Moto Speed. You can find it on Amazon. It's super, super cute, but it comes in different colors. So if you're not feeling the pink, you could get it in black or you could get it in blue. Um, this keyboard, the response is great. I haven't had any problems with it. Mechanical. So if you kind of like that 
loud noise, then you are like me. The cord is pretty lengthy, so it's not short whatsoever. And note that this keyboard has 87 keys, it's RGB lights, and it works for the Mac and the PC. It's via USB. So the gaming mouse pad that I use is by a company called Demon Chest. I will put the link in the description below. Um, I found it on Amazon. It's just a dark marble design. And it's a great material. It's non-slip. So if you put something here, it's not just gonna like move over to the side or anything. It like stays put, which is cool. And it's really lengthy too. Um, as you can see, it kind of covers almost my entire desk. So the mouse I use is the Razer Death Adder. I got it in mercury white. I absolutely love, love, love this mouse. Its reaction time is really well. Um, I haven't had a problem with it. The cord is super long, so if I wanna like throw it all the way back there, it's not a problem. It also has these two buttons on the side if you wanna go, you know, back on a page or, you know, go forward. Um, I find it to be really handy. So another essential piece to my setup is my iPad stand. This iPad stand is by Lamacall. Um, I found them on Amazon. You could move it any way that you want to move it. It's super durable. Like you could literally throw this thing on the floor a trillion times and it won't break. Um, it has like this hole right here in case you want to put your charger wire through it. Um, just to keep things organized and good, you know, practice good cable Another management. Another cool little essential to my setup that I tend to keep on my desk is this alarm clock. Um, it's by a company called Tyoon. Not only does it notify me of the time and any alarm that I tend to put, has different colors. Um, I find this one to be really interesting. It also works as a Bluetooth speaker. Um, so if you wanna connect your phone and like play some music, you'll be able to do that on this clock. You'll also find some sticky notes on my desk. I like to keep sticky notes in case I gotta like draw up some quick notes. I keep a candle on my desk because I like things to smell pretty good. Uh, this candle is by Bath and Body Works. It's called Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. It smells super good. I have some magnets at the top um, in case I have to clip something on my whiteboard most underrated essentials right here on my desk first being the Google Nest this thing is pretty awesome um, I use it all the time on stream I ask it a lot of questions and it just answers me it also plays as a Bluetooth speaker so if you want to connect it to your devices you can do that you can put the volume up by just tapping it on the side here and it has its cord. It's lengthy for the most part, um, but I will say my only complaint about the Google Nest is that the actual plug can interfere with some of my other plugs because it's a circular shape and um, it's a little big. Google does a lot of awesome stuff like, hey Google, tell me a joke. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. Okay. This Verizon Stream TV box is awesome. Um, it comes with a controller that has a pretty sleek design. Um, so you see the Verizon logo here. And um, so if you're familiar with like Roku TV or like the Amazon Fire Stick, um, you'll like this combination right here. Um, you can kind of just travel through different apps it's really fast. It's really nice. They have a great selection of apps on the Ryzen Stream TV. So sometimes I will be, you know, working down here on my setup, but then I just kind of like look up and I can just kind of like move around. And I was actually watching, um, I think I was watching WCW uh, Halloween Havoc. So I kind of just look up and, and it's thanks to this little guy right here, I could just kind of watch whatever I want. And I absolutely love having Verizon Fios. Um, my internet has been great since. You guys know when I first started streaming, internet was a huge issue. Um, and something to note was Verizon actually gave me this box. When I switched over to Verizon Fios, um, they gave me the box for free. Um, so it was kind of cool and they do that for people in my area you would have to check in your area to see if you're also eligible for that offer on here you also see just like some plants i like to keep things that are kind of green on my desk or like around my room and setup shout out to ct guy heat one of my viewers that got me this plant 
It actually came with two other plants. You could get it off of Amazon. Um, I also keep a ton of like pens and I keep, you know, just like a pair of scissors. I know I probably don't say that well, but whatever, it's just the accent. Um, so yeah, just in case I gotta write something, I kind of just pull it and I'm just like, Sweet. For my microphone, I am still using the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti mic. Because I totally made a mistake on my last video. But yes, I am still using this mic. It's been about two and a half years. It has not disappointed me. But as I mentioned in my first video, the easy Twitch setup and tips video, I will include that somewhere over here or over here for you to click on if you haven't watched it. Um, the only thing with this mic, it doesn't have an on and off switch. You just gotta unplug it. Um, in order to turn it off, but it does tell you when it's on or off um, based off the light, but um, yeah. it has not disappointed. I put it back on this little tripod stand. I no longer use an arm stand due to my furniture, um, but yes, it's still amazing, still great quality. Now, my favorite piece to my setup and probably my best friend is my Elgato Stream Deck. Um, I normally use it for sound buttons, but you can use it for other things like screen transitions and it also has a lot of apps that are very helpful. Um, personally, I just have mine designed like this. You can do a lot with this. You can turn pages. Um, I have this one with uh, 15 keys. I find it to be enough, but you could get the XL which brings more keys. Um, this is the Elgato Stream Deck and it has its own little stand. Um, this stand right here, it could be sturdy if you kind of just clip it right and don't move it too much. Um, I do find that the legs could be a little bit better because um, sometimes you gotta just kind of like put it right there. Just kind of put it like this. If you don't want it like that, kind of like that high, you can actually make it shorter. Um, but I personally like it. Um, it's just the legs that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with. And this is just kind of what the stand looks like without the deck on it. Um, and the deck itself, if you don't want to use that stand, you don't have to. Um, it's pretty slim. It's pretty small. I thought looking at the pictures, it was going to be bigger. But it's actually small. It just fits in my hand. Um, and it's cool. I love it. It's It's amazing does everything I needed to do you know on this side of my room you will find my Apple watch stand um, it's by a company called Tranesca and this Apple watch stand is really awesome because it's well organized does the job you can kind of clip your charger there and it just stays in place it's the same material as my Apple stand I like that it's solid um, won't break, it's not flimsy, um, does the job just right. right. Here on this side, you'll find my headset, and this is the Razer Kraken headset. Um, it's the kitty edition, I just don't have the kitty ears on it. Um, this headset is super awesome, great quality, definitely an upgrade from my last headset. Um, I love the design, you have the Razer logo on the side there, good cushion in between. Um, you'll be able to really zone into your game, but you'll also be able to, um, you know, like hear everything outside of what's going on if you just lower the volume. Also chose to do a mismatch between the headset stand and the actual headset, um, just because my furniture is, you know, white but you could get the matching headset stand color with the headset. So this is the headset stand that I have. It's super awesome. I absolutely love it. It has three ports right here, USB ports, and it charges whatever you want it to charge. That's actually how I have my LED strips kind of lighting up in the back. Um, it also has the nice razor logo on the top there and it just does the job um, If you're going to invest in a quality headset, you might as well invest in a headset stand um, And quite some time I didn't do that 
um, and I was just kind of like putting my headset wherever I wanted to but I made the move to kind of just upgrade because I don't want my headset to get messed up so I just kind of throw it on there after my streams or whenever I'm done using it and it's perfect. At the bottom it actually lights up you can actually customize the way that it lights up um, the animation and the colors if you go on to your razor app on your computer Over here i have my nintendo switch i just have the dock um sometimes i'll play the switch on stream i do have a controller to go with it which is actually this controller right here um, I have this Zelda controller. I got it on sale on Best Buy. Really nice uh, controller and I just have it there in case I do play some games that, you know, I feel like will be better played with a controller. And it's what I needed a long time ago. You kind of just flick through um, different HDMI outputs with this little controller or you could do it by the button. Um, and it will just kind of like switch between screens. So if I'm playing on my PlayStation, I can switch over to my Xbox or my Switch. This right here has four HDMIs that it takes. Um, I love it so much that I ended up getting another one. Um, so this is kind of what the box looks like when you buy it. Uh, again, it's by Zetagard. Um, and I will put a link in the description below. I highly recommend it if you have a lot of HDMI RAN um, devices. It'll make your life so much easier. Well, a major change in my setup in comparison to last time is my PC. Now I have a custom PC. It has been everything I needed. I used to stream off of an Alienware laptop. Um, but I decided to build a PC and just kind of like invest in this PC because I absolutely needed it. The quality is just much greater. Um, during this video, I'm not gonna get too much into the specs or what it consists of, but maybe in a future video I will. I did aim for it to be see-through on the side um, with a clear glass door. Um, it's, it's more of like a plastic glass and i wanted it to be black and white uh, so black and white to kind of just match with everything else that i have in my furniture and my mouse it just looks great i'm absolutely in love with it it has done me down very here well. you'll find my xbox series x and you will find my playstation 5. i also tend to keep a bottle of lysol down here because i don't want things to get dusty so i'm always kind of cleaning things off so this is just what the Xbox Series X looks like. It's actually smaller in size than this monster right here, the PlayStation 5. But I absolutely love both of them equally. I don't do console wars. I love it so all. So another cool part to my setup are my LifeX beams and my Nano Leaf light panels. Uh, both of these are amazing. If you guys would like to see me review both of them and just kind of compare, please leave a comment down below. Uh, but they both do different things. I like the LifeX beams when they move around like this. I kind of have it in this L-shaped form. Over here with the Nano Leaf lights, um, they could adapt even to music. So if you're playing music, it will actually light up different panels depending on that music and those sounds. But they both do, you know, different things and I really like them. I will say they're a little bit expensive. I got these refurbished. Um, these I actually got on sale during Black Friday. Um, that's the only con that I have. They are expensive, but do I think they're worth it? Yes, because it's quality lights. So we'll start here at the bottom. I have my PlayStation 4. I actually have a controller that I didn't even get to open. Um, this controller I got right before the PlayStation 5 came out, so I kind of just keep it there for decor. This case right here is my Nintendo Switch case. This case is amazing, guys. Absolutely recommend this case. So this is by a company called Tape Case. I found them on Amazon. This is super sturdy. Like, you can just kind of carry it wherever you want. Um, it's hard shell and it carries your Nintendo Switch games. You could get it in different colors, but I chose this like blue and black. I love the color blue. Um, so you'll fit your Switch and it also has space for your Joy-Cons. Um, I have it there in case I ever travel with my Nintendo Switch. Just a little something that I keep down here. 
Um, I also have the case for the controller I showed you guys earlier. Um, this is just the Zelda controller. Um, this controller just kind of gets me by when I play some Nintendo Switch games. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing great. I will say though that the actual um, joystick, it's really huge. Um, but I don't hate it. It's good to kind of get you by if you just need a Switch controller. I would recommend this one. It's normally always on sale. I got it on Best Buy on sale during Black Friday, but I know they always do regular sales for this one. I'm not sure it's because the game, it's a little outdated. So now. moving on up, over here I have my Xbox 360, I have my Xbox One, um, I have a couple of Xbox games, and I also have a PlayStation 4 game for some reason in this slot. But um, I have a ton of controllers here, like I have my Xbox 360 controllers, um, I have my Xbox One controller without the back piece because I actually took the back piece to put it to my new Xbox Series X controller because it was like a battery pack one. Um, and I have like some charge and plays in here. I also have a PlayStation 4 like rose gold controller. Um, and I kind of just like throw them in there because, you know, I, I don't use them that often, but I do have it there um, in my little tower. So moving on up, here I have my RetroPie, and I won't get too into this, um, but I will leave a link in the description below. I won't talk too much about it on this video, uh, but do check it out. Do your own research on what a RetroPie is and all the things you can do with it. This thing is amazing, and I truly love it. I don't know where I would be without it. This one was actually custom built for me um, and designed for me like different loading screens and, you know, just different sounds. Absolutely love this thing. It's one of my favorite things in my setup. I do have two controllers for the RetroPie. They're both USB RAN, um, similar to the original Super Nintendo controller. And then I have this one that's Bluetooth. I haven't really figured out Everything I can do with this one, but I know you can take the plug out and it's like wireless. A Nintendo uh, Game Boy SP. I used to love these um, so much when I was a kid. I had a red one, but they ended up stealing it. So I kind of just have this for my own moral victory. Um, now that I'm an adult and I was able to afford it. Um, I got it back and in my favorite color. So blue. over here on this side, you're also going to find my Stardew Valley collection, um, which I have the coloring book from fangamer.com. Um, and I also have the guidebook. If you've never played Stardew Valley, I'm gonna include a link in the description below. This is an absolute must. It's an indie game that was created by one guy, Eric Baruni. Um, and a little bit of help later on in the future, but it's one of my favorite games of all time. And it's just absolute bliss every time I play it, so I had to get the guidebook from fangamer.com. Now, moving on up, you have my N64 collection. Have a couple games in here, like WrestleMania 2000, WWF No Mercy, and a lot more, it kind of goes deeper in. Um, I have three controllers. This is my newest one, which is the blue one. I got the green one back there, and I have this red one to match my new toy, which is the EverDrive 64. Um, this thing is amazing and I highly recommend it, but please go do your research. I will include a link in the description below, but I won't speak too much on it during this video. Um, the EverDrive is a must. I will say it's a little pricey, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, so that's just my N64 collection right there. When you go up here, you will find my PlayStation 2 games. I have a lot of the SmackDown games. I have a few of the NBA Lives and the 2K games, GTA games, um, and just a couple others. I'm still expanding my collection, but this is just kind of what I have there. Also for decor. Um, and when you move on up here, you'll see my championship belt. Uh, this was a gift for Christmas. I have some PlayStation 4 games up here. I also have a PSP Go. Um, I don't know why I have this PSP Go, but um, I kind of just have it there and I just kind of store it. Um, I also have a PS2 down here um, and I keep some of my cosplay mask 
kind of tucked in behind this belt. So that's kind of what I have up there. This championship belt, you could also get it on the WWE shop. Um, it should be on there. It's just a toy belt, but it looks super cool. Moving on to the very top, I have a couple of toys. I have some Fortnite toys up here. Zoe, I have Drift, I have the Omega. Um, I also have the Love Ranger and the Cuddle Team Leader. Um, back here, um, I have one more toy. Other toy I had to the back was Jeff Hardy. I just got, got this one as a gift for so Christmas. So it's actually pretty cool about the toy. I also got this, which was his signature. Uh, so I actually have Jeff Hardy's signature on this card with his picture and it's something that I'll cherish forever. I'll probably also get it free. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave any comments or questions down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date with the content. Till next time, you know your girl Miss T. Uh, deuce.